I've seen a lot happen within these walls and um, just the resiliency of a lot of these clients is, is so inspiring. I mean, you hear stories that no, no human should ever have to go through. And to see that they're here, they're going through that, they're fighting these cravings and they, they're coming out victorious because they made it another day sober, that's inspirational, you know? Um, it is hard. There are people that, you know, that kind of quit on themselves and they, and they don't feel like that they're ready to, to commit to treatment at this, at this level quite yet. Cause it is a lot here. We're doing seven hours of group. We're doing therapy. Like you're in a whole new environment. You're, you know, it's hard. And, uh, and as long as I can go home at night knowing that I did my best at the end of each and every day and I, I did all I could for that client in that moment and I'm going to continue to work on that, continue to be there for them and, and be that person that believes in them, as long as I do that every single day, I'm okay. I can leave my work there and come back to it and pick it up tomorrow. So at the end of the day, I've had to realize it's not on me you know, to make sure that someone follows through in their recovery. I can give them, you know, the tools and be a mirror for them to, to do it themselves. But at the end of the day, we got to look at their willingness to change, right? That's what's going to be the thing that, that propels them to make a difference this time around in treatment.